Hidden Valley. The first collectible will be the jar. As soon as you leave the cave entrance or the exit, you want to stay to the right and go on to the bridge. Once you do that, you will see a bridge to the right with loads of explosives and a few enemies. Just above that, you will find the jar located on the, I think it's a pillar. It's hard to see on the video. From the last location, turn around and then go towards the next objective. If you look through the uh, barricade of spears, you will find the jar. Once you clear the barricade, and you will want to follow the blue shining beam to the right. On the pillar, far at the back, you will find jar number three. Blue cat, one of six. Head down the stairs. As soon as you go far enough down, you will trigger the cat. Uh -huh. Take that, young cryptic cat. That's a one of five, a little fun. Go up the small steps, stay left, shoot the um, part box to reveal oh, your first letter of five. Nice. I love a good yarn, me. Blue cat, two of six. Once you have gone past two of these spinning. I can't remember what they're called in spinning blades. Let's call them that. Go for the door on the left or right. It doesn't matter because it leads the same way. Once you have dealt with the enemies in this section, carry on and go into this circle section here. Once you go inside, you will get a, um, a meow at you again and just shoot the cat. All these blue cats will meow at you so you can hear them and just stop where you are and look for them. Letter two, go for the next door. Make sure you shoot this um, rock because there will be a barricade you need to move down. Once you go down, you will find the blue crystal. And then on the bed to the right, on the floor, you will find the second letter. Could be some jolly useful information there. Relic one of six. So in theory, I could have done this the opposite way. So I, I could have got relic one of six, then the letter. But um, since I already recorded it, I couldn't really change the mistake I've done. So just backtrack slightly and go through the left door and drop down. Stay to the left and activate this artifact thing here. And now do this snake puzzle. All the puzzles will not be the same. So this may be slightly different to you. Not too difficult to figure out. And once you do that, the door open. Be careful of the trap and then activate with the box or the chest That'll come to find in the useful, cobra. Wager. Relic number two. Once you've activated this um, crystal, you'll get ambushed by quite a lot of enemies. After you defeat all the enemies, you'll get another cutscene with this door opening. Once you see the cutscene, oh, no. turn around and exploring. shoot the relic guy. And also, it does have a, like a, um, a chime to it, so when he runs runs away or runs in the area, you'll definitely hear him. It's not the chime's not loud, but it's loud enough you can actually hear him. So just keep your ears out. Keep your ears out. Now, where the chime guy actually came from, you need to go inside. Stand in this pressure pad and solve the puzzle. As far as I know, the puzzle does not change, so you just copy what I'm doing and you'll be good. So pretty much for this puzzle, you're just making a big S. Success. Once you get to the end, Draw go to the chest, grab it and move on. Once you've done that, from the last location, time to find the blue cat. Now, once you want to go through that door now that opened during the cutscene after you defeated all the monsters. Once you head up the stairs, you have to um, rearrange this blue beam again. But before you do that, run to the side. The cat will show up. Shoot it! Now, after we have rearranged the blue thingy bob the beam. Which perilous path to take now? 
from the last location. Go up the stairs, don't jump down. And go left. Don't go up the stairs. I couldn't really edit this bit out because um, I didn't stay up here very long. So once you get here, you want to drop down and go into the archway. Now go left and you will find the uh, puzzle door once again. You will get attacked by a scorpion, so deal with that scorpion and then solve this snake puzzle once again. Once you grabbed it, move on to the next bit. Letter 3 of 5, fearing the worst. Go for the door where the scorpion came through and head directly straight. You will find another crystal pop up out of nowhere. And then the letter 5 will be next to it, on the bed. I wonder what this is all about. Relic 5 or 6. From the last location. This should do the trick. Go onto the pressure pad and shoot these circles in order. So you've got to shoot the um, scarab beetle one, two, three, and four. So you have to do it in order. Not that hard to figure out. By Jove, I think they've got it. So once you do it successfully, it will open the gate to where the main key is that we need for the main mission. So heading in that same direction, before grabbing the key, go through this archway here. You can do this either way. Doesn't matter, you can grab the key, then go through here. And solve another snake puzzle. Just like the other rooms, be careful of the fire. Once you grabbed it, we're now going to carry on to the next location. The final relic. So now I have actually grabbed the um, relic, or the, not the relic, sorry, the key, so we can proceed on. Once you grab the key, you will get ambushed by enemies, so be careful. Now place the key onto this mechanism and move on. Once you get here, go left, and then you want to stand on this pressure pad and look for a blue ball on the wall. Now once you trigger that, that will be a time thing so you gotta shift your ass. Once you made it, Amazing. stand on the other pressure Extra pad to um arm up the door. The promise of a bit of treasure involved. Go into the uh, secret place to find the relic number six. So once you head back now where you activated the time pressure pad, you'll be in another puzzle section. So you'll go through a Crossblade section, so where there's like massive blades swinging across the uh, doorway. Once you do that, you'll hear the cat anyway. So, pretty simple. So, letter four and five. Once you get this cutscene after triggering the crystal, soon after we dealt with every enemy in this section, you will have to come over this bridge anyway, so you can't really miss this section. Stay to the left. Once again, letter number four will be on the bed, just like the rest. Blue Cat 5. Carry on with the mission, follow the tracks, look on the right, in the water that you can't reach, and just shoot the cat. A troubled mind. So same location of the letter and the blue cat we just found, go across the bridge, once we dealt with the enemies, we want to go right. You want to shoot this explosive brow. This will destroy the vines on the uh, doorway section. Once we go through, look on the floor next to the pressure pad to find the book. Blue Cat 6 of 6. From the last location, just backtrack slightly and now turn right and go up the stairs. Once you're up the stairs, you will get a notification or a meow. You can hear, so look right and shoot the cat. Does this little kitty have a treat for us? The final jar will be to the left, and this will be faced 
at the final door of the level. So just Shut above the door, we will find the jar. Golden cat, one of one. Once we found all six cats, we can go through this door now. And the golden cat will be staring at us on a small platform. That is it for this level. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. Nelson's ghost, you've acquired all the antiquities. Good show, Strange Brigade.